Are you tired of launching campaigns in Google Ads only to be disappointed with where your ads actually showed up? If you've watched any of the videos on this channel, you know that Google is moving forward in the direction of automation with campaign types like Performance Max. This means that you tell Google what your goal is and what your budget is, and the system tries to hit the objectives that you set forth for it. So what does this age of automation in Google Ads mean for you? Well, for one, less control. But there are still some ways that you can pick exactly where your ad shows every single time, and that's what we're gonna discuss in this video. Whether it's picking a specific YouTube video or channel, shameless video plug, a specific website that you want your ads to appear on, another shameless video plug, or what we're gonna be talking about today, picking the exact app that you want your ads to show on. It's super simple to do. You can set up your campaign in less than three minutes and we'll walk through all the steps today. If we haven't met yet, my name is Scott Redgate. I'm an online marketing coach and I've been in digital marketing for over 12 years. The purpose of this channel is to help you make more and spend less in your digital marketing efforts and give you the confidence that you need that you can manage your own digital marketing campaigns without hiring an agency. I truly believe that you have what it takes to manage your own marketing campaigns and you don't have to hire an expensive agency that doesn't know your business to do it for you. Hey, before we get started, make sure to download my free PPC cost-cutting cheat sheet. Other businesses like you have used this document to save thousands of dollars inside of their Google Ads account, and you can get yours for free at scottredgate.com slash cheat sheet, and I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, so let's hop into the Google Ads interface to set up our campaign. All right, so we are going to create a new campaign and then we're gonna select the apps that we want to target. And when you're in this campaign objective screen, you can select create a campaign without a goals guidance. And then with the campaign type, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the display campaign type. And then for the purpose of this exercise, we're not gonna select any conversions, we're gonna keep pushing forward here and then you input your website that you're driving traffic to so for me it's scottredgate.com and then we're going to name this campaign and we'll call it manual app placement then we'll select continue so you can go through the campaign settings with location so i'm in the united states so i'll select that languages and then you can go down to this more settings uh, screen and then you can select some of the ones there but what we're going to do is we're going to breeze through this I'm inputting a ten dollar a day budget uh, as far as bidding is concerned um, we are going to get to the manual or maximize uh, clicks option so I'm going to select that and I know I'm moving fast here uh, really want to get to the screen where we can select the apps uh, for you to target um, and so inside of this targeting screen, you'll see a placements option. There's a pencil next to that. So we're gonna select that. And this is the screen where you can go in and you can start searching for the specific apps that you want to target. Um, and there's one more thing that we'll have to do uh, at the end of this, uh, and that's centered on optimized targeting. You may have seen that on the screen before, uh, but we'll get that to that in a second. So I'm gonna search for Fox. I wanna target a local Fox station. And that's not what I want at all. Be a little bit more specific. I'll say Fox 10. And then let's scroll down here and see if I can find the Fox 10 app for Phoenix. Yep, it is right there. So I'll select that. And now let's say that we want to target another app. And let's say for this one, we want uh, to target a calculator, for example. So I'll search for calculator and it takes a second to load. And then you can start to go in and see all the calculator apps that you have the ability to select with the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. So I'll select this graphing calculator app. And then last but not least, I'll search for weather and we'll see if there's any weather apps that we can target here. And there are a bunch. And so I'll just go in and select this one right, let's see, right here. And so now I have three apps that I'm targeting and this campaign will only target it, those apps, if 
you unselect optimized targeting. So optimized targeting helps you get more clicks, or at least that's what Google says, uh, by going beyond the targeting that we selected. And since we only want to target those specific apps, you'll want to turn optimized targeting off or else you will risk showing to a larger audience on more apps. And so that's how easy it is to target the specific apps that you want inside of Google Ads. So in summary, you go to Google Ads to create your campaign, you select create a campaign without a goal or guidance, and then as you're setting up your campaign in the placement section, you search for the apps that you want to appear on and you select them to move forward. Keep in mind that not every app will appear in the search results in Google Ads. Sometimes when apps register to show ads with Google, they can input exclusions. So let's say the app is a competitor of yours. They may have specifically excluded your company's website from being able to advertise with them. And there's some other examples where these apps can actually exclude an entire type of industry from advertising on their app. So please keep that in mind. Hey, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, could you do me a favor? Could you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and then watch this video right here.